Hello, this is Patrick. You're watching Tesla Trip, and I'm in Las Vegas this week at the CES convention. There's a lot going on in terms of electric cars, autonomous vehicles, and all kinds of craziness going on. I'll be posting a lot of other videos on my other channel, Two Smart Guys, so you can check that out at twosmartguys.com for all the little techno gadgets and everything car related I'm going to be posting here on Tesla Trip. Although there's not going to be a whole lot of Tesla presence, there are some pretty interesting companies such as Byton who had their press event today and showing how they are kind of unique in what they're doing with their electric vehicle. It's got a massive display that's the size of several iPads <laughs> and it's going to be shipping this year in China and next year in the United States. They've got a really good price point, and it looks pretty doggone impressive. I got to talk with the people and hang out with them for a while. They're very passionate about this project, and it's good to see some company for Tesla <laughs> in the EV world. And hope to see more from these guys soon. Here's here's my thoughts from the press event and some clips. I'm here at the Byton press event. I'm gonna go in see what they have to announce. We're here to share with you the next phase of the Byton journey. So the Biden team has been, has been on an incredible journey since we founded the company in 2016. In 2017, we officially launched the Biden brand. And exactly one year ago, we stood here on this stage for the world premiere of our Biden M-Byte concept. Yes, and today, after one year, we now have two vehicles, the Biden M-Byte and also the Biden K-Byte. The driver controls this display using another industry first. And this is a 7 inch multi touch screen driver tablet, which is mounted in the middle of the steering wheel. It will stand still while the steering wheel rotates. For a full interactive access by the front seat passengers, there's a console mounted holding an 8 inch high resolution multi touch screen, which we call the Biden Touchpad. And this system is the first of its kind to give driver and passengers five interaction points with the car. So you can use touch, voice control, facial recognition, hand gestures, as well as a reduced set of buttons. So the Biden event just ended and everybody's up on stage getting interviews. Pretty exciting product. They say they're gonna be shipping the end of this year and it's pretty affordable same price range as a Model 3, and their interface is just ridiculous. They've got this huge screen, <laughs> uh, touch screen on the steering wheel that doesn't rotate when the steering wheel rotates, and they've also got this massive display in the front, and they're all talking about how everything's interconnected and that it'll kind of like figure out what you're going to do, and it works with Alexa, and they're talking about a 20-minute 80% recharge time. They're going to have level 3 autonomy, or they're going to be level 3 ready. So it sounds like the software might not be ready by the end of this year, but the hardware will, will be. So it's very similar to what Tesla's doing. Um, Tesla's supposedly promising 5, they're promising 3, and that hardware could be changed later on. Built for the future, they're talking 7 years, they're talking longer than that in terms of how long these cars are going to be able to last so you can keep upgrading the screens and the cameras and computers inside the system. Well, that's pretty interesting from Biden. They look like they've, they've, they're going to try and be like the new type of iPad type of uh, thing for cars. <laughs> they've got gesture controls. they got the pinch and zoom and trackpad on the steering wheel. All kinds of craziness. Um, I really like what they're doing with locking the the Byton ID to the individual. Um, it can even recognize, you know, like your voice through the Amazon Alexa built into the car. And so your profile is always with you. I did a little thing where I went through a simulated version of a trip in a Byton vehicle. It recognized my face. I set up my type of music, type of food that I like, and it made recommendations uh, along the way. They even had a thing where the service center would send somebody out to fix um, a low tire pressure or something like that uh, along the way and meet me when I was stopping to charge. And 
it even recommended like places to go get coffee while you're charging or uh, food that you might like. It seems pretty cool. Let me know what you guys think below. Uh, and if you haven't yet, please subscribe. And thank you guys so much for subscribing. I will be posting a follow-up video to um, the towing a large pickup truck out of the supercharger station in Loveland. Um, lots, lots of comments that I need to respond to. And I we did that thing so fast. It was within five minutes. And I know I didn't properly tow it. And I know there could have potentially been damage to the truck. We did everything we could that we knew of to prevent that from happening. So far, so good. Um, see you guys next time. And uh, please stay tuned for more uh, videos from CES as well as when I get back home, the follow-up video from towing that truck.